Welcome to another explosive episode of the Start Thinking Forward Morning Motivational Show. I'm your host, Brandon L. Draper, and you can check me out on Instagram at The Real Motivational King. I'm excited that you decided to rise above the noise and tune into this positive vibration of intellectual content. I don't take it lightly, though, that you're here. And in order for us to continue to give you nonstop, impactful content, I need your help. So hit that like button and subscribe to whatever platform that you're listening to this podcast on. And most importantly, share this message of hope and inspiration. With that being said, let's get on with the show. This podcast is brought to you from our sponsors. Hey guys, if you have not heard about Anchor, it's a free way to make a podcast anywhere and at any time. And guess what? It's free 99. There are all types of built-in creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so you can be heard on a multitude of platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Now, I know what you may be thinking, but Brandon, why in the world would I create a podcast? Okay, so let me tell you. First of all, it starts with an M and it ends with a Y. It's called money. So why would you be asking me why you don't want to make money? Yes, I said it because you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. So there you go. Stop thinking about it and just download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. I did, and so can you. All right, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this morning motivation number 42, and it's don't curse what you already got. You know, if you're a farmer, right, the only thing you have is the soil, so if it don't reap the harvest, you got to go back and figure out, is it the soil you know, did you fertilize it? Did you add enough water? Was there enough seeds to germinate? Whatever the case may be, you got to go back and retract. You can't curse the only thing you have. And right now, the only thing you may have is opportunity, but you may not know how to exercise that opportunity, but don't curse your opportunity just because you don't know how to deal with it. Opportunity comes in all forms and fashion, so you have to be open to it. So, Let's start this off with a story, right? Once upon a time, there was a daughter who complained to her father that her life was miserable and she didn't know how she was going to make it. She was tired of fighting and struggling all the time. 
It seemed just as one problem was solved, another one soon followed. Her father, a chef, took her to the kitchen. He filled three pots with water and placed each on a high fire. One, once the three pots began to boil, he placed potatoes in one pot, eggs in the second pot, and ground coffee beans in the third pot. He then let them sit and boil without saying a word to his daughter. The daughter moaned and, and, and impatiently complained, waited, wondering what he was doing. After 20 minutes, he turned off the burners. He took the potatoes out of the pot and placed them in a bowl. He pulled the boiled eggs out and placed them in another bowl. He then laid it the coffee and placed it in a cup. Turning to her, he asked, daughter, what do you see? She said, potatoes, eggs, and coffee, she hazily replied. Look closer, he said, and touched the potatoes. She did and noted that they were soft. He then asked her to take an egg and break it. After pulling off the shell, she observed the hard boiled egg. Finally, he asked her to sip the coffee. Its rich aroma brought a smile to her face. Father, what does this mean, she asked. He then explained that the potatoes, the eggs, and coffee beans had each faced the same adversity, the boiling water. However, each one reacted differently. The potato went in strong, hard, and unrelenting, but in the boiling water, it became soft and weak. The eggs were fragile, with the thin outer shell protecting its liquid interior until it was put in the boiling water. Then the inside of the egg became hard. However, the ground coffee beans were unique. After they were exposed to the boiling water, they changed the water and created something new. Which are you, he asked his daughter. Which adversity, when adversity knocks on your door, how are you going to respond? Are you a potato, an egg, or a coffee bean? And that's my question to you. When adversity comes knocking, and we know it will, it's going to come. What are you going to be and how are you going to be able to stand up to the test of time? You cannot curse what you already have. So whatever situation that you may be facing, there is some positivity. There are some lessons to learn, right? Sometimes when you, you learn the most lessons, oftentimes when you lose, right? Because you're more, you make more observations on how to calculate how to win. And sometimes when we win, sometimes we forget that we still got to figure out ways to continue to win. So we get so content that we may not practice as hard or we may not close as good or we may not talk to as many people. And that's depending on what business or lifestyle or whatever situation that you're in. Sometimes when we win, we don't learn. Sometimes it's when we lose that we learn the most and you want to learn the most because who he or she who learns the most, the quickest, the fastest and fail the quickest, the fastest, you know, are going to be successful because in order for you to get better, you're going to have to try things. You're going to have to fail at them. You learn the lessons from that. So now you can apply that in the next thing and be even better until eventually you're one of the best. And then everything that you touch is going to be successful. But that takes time and it takes you failing a lot. So it's hard for you to be successful if you're afraid to fail, because in order to truly get to the level of success that you may want, you're going to have to fail a lot because you have to be willing to try. You may be the lucky person out of one out of a trillion that, you know, everything just lines up. But for most of us, most people out here, everything just doesn't line up. It's not by chance. It has to be intentional. 
right? In order for us to be able to yield the results based upon what seeds we planted, right? And right now, everything is in dismay. We're watching people, people trying, right now, people are trying to figure out, hey, how am I going to pay next month's bills? And I'm already in the middle of this month because I may not be able to to work. There's certain jobs that people, there's no tele telework, right? They're doing physical labor assignments. So now they're concerned on how they're going to pay next month's bills. And these are legitimate fears. And we hear that the government's going to pass uh, legislative to make things um, smooth out. But that doesn't stop you from worrying about it. Right. Because that's there's still a level of uncertainty and you're accustomed to controlling things. So when things begin be, become out of your control, you get upset and you start cursing or getting upset at the very things, the very tools and instruments that you have that can save you. Think about that for a second. The things that can save you are the things that you, you're getting upset with your gifts. Right. You're getting upset with your gifts, right? You can't do that. And I don't remember that uh, there's a saying. Um, and I don't remember. I don't remember. But, you know, the, basically saying your gifts will make room for you, right? Your gifts will make room for you. Let those let those talents and abilities come out of you naturally. Don't curse the few things that you have right now. Do not do not allow that to, to be a part of of your life. And I'm telling you just from firsthand experience that I've done it myself, just getting upset in the situation and blaming the things that that I have that can work in my benefit. How many people do that? How many people have done that? Or how many people are currently doing it right now as they listen in to this is that, wow, this is all I have. Am I truly taking advantage of it? Am I making the best opportunity of it? Well, Brandon, I don't have much. I don't have anything. Do you have your health? You know, having your health means a lot because you can't do anything and you're not concerned with anything when you're sick. I promise you, you're not concerned about anything when you're sick. When you're when you're that sick, you're not concerned. So, man, that's the gift in itself to have your health. Now that you have your health, right? What other what other things to stop you? Well, I don't have time. Well, with this social avoidance that we have going on right now, you actually have some time. Right. You may have some time. Right. That's a great asset to have. One of the most important assets to have. I mean, if you got time, but the question then comes in, what are you doing with your time? Are you just looking at TV? Are you just on, on the phone going down the stream? You just sitting up there looking at different notifications and stuff. What are you doing with the time? You just kicking back and relax. Is it is it, you know, same old, same old routine, or is it something new that you're doing? Right, you're not utilizing your time to the fullest. You, 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 you're just playing with it right now. And then when you're looking for serious results, but you were playing, you know, you're dreaming about having what it is that you want to have. But when it comes forth to putting the work, what are you willing to do? What sacrifices? It sucks, right? When you gotta put things to the side. Right and put time out that you have to do things because that's not the way you like doing things, right? I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. But if you want, listen to what I'm saying. If you want to be successful, this is what you gotta do. You gotta take what's in your mind and create it, bring it to life, right? So science, science fiction, science facts. So my I'm I'm talking to my daughter the other day and we're having this conversation because she doesn't like certain scary creatures and stuff. Right. And I said, Hey baby, that's science, you know, that's science fiction. Like, you know, that's not real. These are no real monsters and, you know, animals and creature creatures that look like that. I said, basically that's someone's imagination. That's someone's imagination that they took out of their head and they brought it to life and it still scares people. So, you have an imagination. You got these thoughts and ideas is in your mind. It's never going to be real just being in your mind, right? Because you can't hold yourself accountable for what's in your mind just for say, like you let things go and you try to forget about it. Your mind suppresses it. It never comes back. But if you take what's in your mind, the things that you want, the things that you desire, and you go ahead 
and write it down, right? You just brought it to life. That's the first step, bringing, bringing your ideas and your thoughts to life. Just by taking what's in your mind and writing it down, writing it down, make it real for yourself, something that you can reflect. And I'm going to also go past. I know that we're in a technological age and I get it. Everyone likes to take notes on their phone. The hell with that right now. Listen to what I'm saying. Take what's in your mind, get a poster board or get a printer paper, loose leaf paper, get it, write it down tack it somewhere that you can see it every single day to remind you of who you are and what it is that you want. Because sometimes we just keep it in our mind, we keep it in our phone. We just don't want to go back to that note. You're not holding yourself accountable. Maybe you don't want to get nobody in your business and know what it is that you're getting ready to do. Maybe you don't want nobody to do it. So hold yourself accountable. Take what's in your mind. I'm telling you, take what's in your mind right now. Write it on a paper, write it on a, a, a one of those big posters. You know, get maybe get one of those poster boards. You get them from Dollar Tree for a dollar. If you got some already, great. If you don't, just get a piece of paper and a tack or a piece of tape and start sticking it where you know for a fact you're gonna have to see it every single day. Right? Stop cursing what you got. Start talking about the things you are blessed to have. What are the things that you do have? Right? You got a family support system. You got family. You got health. You got a warm house. You got a healthy family. List all the things that you are happy to have that are blessings to you. Then, you know, write down all the things in your head that you want to see, that you want to happen, that you want for it to be a reality, that you want to bring it to fruition. Write those things down. Write them down and put them somewhere where you got to look at them every single day to remind you. Why you wasting time? Because see, if you're wasting time and you got to see yourself, you know, you got a problem with video games, put that note, all the goals and things you want and put it on top of that council, that, that game council. So every time you go ready to hit the play button, it's right there to remind you. You like looking at TV, put it right over the remote control, all your dreams. Because you know that every time you get on that, that TV Every time you get on that phone, that's nothing to do with business. That's when your goal, you're never going to see your goals because you're giving attention to things that's non-sequential. Things that's not going to bring you happiness. Right. Matter of fact, you do what you're supposed to do and get your goals and your, and your strategic planning on. People are going to be looking at you on TV. They're going to have a reality show about you and your business, your clothing brand, your company, your voiceover service. Your carpentry business, your landscaping business, your hair business, your boutique, whatever business you got, your uh, digital marketing consulting firm, your books, your consulting firm, whatever it is, they're going to be they're going to be interviewing you. Your cosmetic business, your event services, your office space building, they're going to be interviewing you. Listen to what I'm saying. They're going to be interviewing you if you can focus on the focus. Focus on the things that need your focus. Stop talking about what you're going to do. I see so many people talking. They're serious about business and they lay around all day. Looking at TV, looking at social media. How are you trying to do something? What are you telling the universe? If the universe would say, you know what? I'm going to come in on this person right now and whatever their heart desires, I'm going to give it to them if they're doing it at this moment. You say you want to be in business. Opportunity says, I'm here. What does it see you doing? Do you look like a person that want to be successful? Are you acting like a person that wants to be successful? Or are you just saying it? Are you just uttering it out of your mouth? You got to make that decision if you're ready to step up to the plate for what you're asking for. You say you want a successful business, but you're sleeping when you should be awake. You're sleeping more than you're doing anything. How can, you, how can a dream become a reality when you spend more time dreaming about it than you out here making it happen? old school you say you're spending so much time dreaming instead of scheming you're not trying to strategize and come up with plans on how you're going to make your dream a reality you're spending more time dreaming but those that 
they're actually accomplishing. They don't want to go to sleep. Why? When you don't want to go to sleep when your reality is like your dream, like you've always dreamed of it. You don't want to go to sleep. Hmm? Because everything that you could possibly want, you've created. You are the creator. The life that you have, you have created. Do you understand that? The life that you have right now, I don't care how good, bad, or indifferent you feel about it. It's what you have created based on your decisions. And I know what you're saying. If you're in a bad situation, you're like, oh my God, that sucks. Right? But we all are self-made. But only the successful will admit it. No one wants to admit when their life is not where it needs to be that it's their fault. It's their indecisions. Right? Or bad decisions that they made that brought them to this point. But you cannot curse what you got. This is what you got. You got this moment. You have this opportunity. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to lounge around? Because if you lounge around, life is going to lounge around you. And when things are not happening as fast in the way that you want it, it's an exact, exact proportion to what activity you gave to it. Remember, during the time when you were supposed to be grinding and working, you were lounging around, you was talking, you was chilling, right? You was chilling, you was kicking back, you needed a break, you needed an outlet, all those things. Remember that when you said that? Life's gonna treat your your desire, your willingness to get it the same way, the energy, same energy you gave it. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just here. You just I'm with, I'm with the wind. Wherever the wind blows, I'm going. You know, you play that and life's going to treat you the same way. Think about that for a second. Think about that for a second when you're thinking about how you're going to truly live out to your true potential in your personal life, feelings and emotion, how to effectively communicate with others, to, to really communicate and tell people your true feelings on a personal level, how are you going to be able to conduct yourself on the business side to be able to still conduct yourself, you know, have that emotional IQ to know what need to, to, to really be expressed upon in your business and what really needs to be kind of, you know, you know, pulled back a little bit. Knowing, have, having, having that, having that, that IQ, having that intelligence, right? What would that mean? But at the same time, understand it takes change and it takes time. And it takes self actualization where you're sitting up here and you're really coming to realization that every decision is your decision. You're making that decision. That decision is either going to propel you forward or it's going to set you back. Right. You got to make that decision. Is it is it going to help me or hurt me? You know, is it going to you know hinder me? You know, it may feel good in the moment, but is that decision going to hurt me later on in the future? All these things you have to be thinking about in your mind constantly if you want to be successful in whatever it is you want to do personal life business professional whatever these are things that you must consider hey guys remember it's never too late to start thinking forward i hope you enjoyed today's show and guess what i will see you tomorrow morning and on top of that please make sure you are washing your hands sanitizing all that good stuff and staying away from you know uh, large gatherings of people it's advised that you don't go to any event that where it has more than 10 people i would tell you do that make sure you're doing all the proper hand washing um you know sanitation that you need and avoiding uh, any you know touch contact um, as much as possible uh, so that we can move past this and continue to uh, for everyone to continue to live their lives and continue doing what they got to do. God bless. Hey, guys, love you. And tomorrow I will see you tomorrow morning. And remember, it's never too late. Start thinking forward. Hello, all. Thank you for tuning in to another motivational show. I hope that you may have gained some insight from this show, but please, please, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this podcast to stay up to date with our daily dose of inspiration. And if you are a true risk taker and a fan of this show, please go to patreon.com forward slash creators united. That's Patreon, P A. 
T R E O N dot com forward slash creators united, right? And support our show and get some behind the scenes information on how you can empower yourself, your family, and your business to new heights. And if you want to connect, we are available 24 7. You can check us out online at www pinnaclepointpublishing.com and you can chat with us or send us an email or you can send me a direct email at brandon at pinnaclepointpublishing.com or even give us a call on the horn as they say at 1-866-222-3940 and until next time I'll see you again